Well, if this ain't something, this coronavirus, that blame got the whole world crazy. And I know, I'm there myself. Well, not quite. I ain't gonna go all the way there. Nope. Not me. But I got big plans. Making a major move. Um, gonna work on some stuff I've been trying to work on. You know, music, um, uh, poetry, uh, radio, podcast. But not looking like this, of course. This is just me hanging around the house. I might even put a dress on for one of them. You know? Um, if I go do a... And I will be doing other shows, other places, other states. Um, I'll try to dress up for those things a little bit. You know, sometimes you may be just seeing me in jeans and a jacket. But I ain't going to be wearing none of them sexy stuff and stuff because I'm too old for that. It's going to be reserves. And I love t-shirts. They hide everything. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Someone told me I shouldn't make my songs about me all the time. So I've taken a song. I'd written long ago about uh, <clears throat> escaping death, basically. And um, it's a good song. It's a rock and roll song, really. It's not gospel. It's rock and roll. Definitely rock and roll. And uh, I decided to change the verses so it's not talking about me, but well, man. Women. Women. Because women have gone through life and they have suffered far more than a male has. If they work, and I know, I, I know, people, women that work, they know what I'm talking about. I'm serious, they do. Women in, in, in the service, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Men are promoted faster, even though the women are smarter. And God forbid you be an Irish poor black person, you screwed. Um, no matter how smart you are, if, if you got an accent that sounds like you're from the mountains, they don't even give you a chance. Stupid hillbilly. You don't know nothing. I heard that for six years. I didn't have a high school diploma, but um, I was I was correcting English and spelling and math. <laughs> and so I, I got a GED, and um, I only had to take that test one time. I thought I, I thought I had to take it two or three times because I just finished seventh grade. But now I was a reader. I I read. You know, I just didn't stick with seventh grade. I, I read when I when I left. I read. I read books that that talked. I go in the doctor's office. I read everything in there. You know, read them books while I'm waiting in line. And I like to read things that teach you something. And so, when I wanted to go to the class for it, mm -mm, we can't send you to class for that. You, t you know, we're wasting taxpayers' money. But I just finished seventh grade, and. And, and 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 I have to pay fifty dollars. And, and 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 if I have to take it twice, that's a hundred dollars. Ain't gonna waste her money. Okay, fine. I went and took the test and I didn't think I was gonna pass. And and of course, I ain't gonna say no names, certain person in the car with me telling me, You didn't pass. I ain't you got laid off. I ain't paying for your $50 next test. That's okay. I can get another job. Factories hire all the time. 
In fact, to work, you didn't have to have a high school diploma. If you was a hard-working person, you can go work. I worked in a factory since I was 16. I know. So, I took the test. Well, I was one of the brightest moments when I got that letter. It took about a week or so. And all of a sudden, I got this big old letter in the mail. You know, a big old letter. Wow, that's a big old letter. I pull that out. It's my high school diploma. Yay! <laughs> I took that high school diploma and I showed it to Miss to all my neighbors. Look at this. Look at this. A certain person wasn't home yet, but boy, when I got home. <laughs> See my diploma? I got a high school diploma. Look at my grades. My grades was high. <laughs> I'm going to college. And I did. I did. I went two years. Uh, but, but, but being a single mom, <clears throat> two years, you get enough to where you can get a good job and then and, and, and go for that good job. So that's what I did. I went for the good job. Fast food man management. <laughs> I'm holding this phone so it's all over the place. But who cares, right? I am. Such an imperfect person. So, if these videos are imperfect, it's just speaking all me. Well, now, I guess that's the end of this whatever. And, um, y'all have a great whatever. And, um, for God's sake, get out and get some fresh air. Go on hikes and cool down. Boy, I'm not a cussing person. Let me tell you, for the past, since last Tuesday, not this past Tuesday, but the Tuesday before that, I have been cussing up a storm. I call my sister and she goes, Sandy, you don't talk like this. What's wrong with you? I know I don't. I got to stop this. I really do. I just got to stop it. So in order to stop it, I got to get away and go do what I got to do. And I, 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 I am going to counseling, y'all, so don't y'all worry. I don't own a gun. I wouldn't shoot nobody if I did own a gun to kill anyway. But if it's trying to hurt me, I might shoot them in the foot so it'll stop them or something. But I, I wouldn't want to kill nobody. I don't own a gun. I hate guns. I got shot by a gun. I don't like guns. I don't like violence. I hate violence. I don't like confrontation. Why do people want to confront each other all the time and argue and argue and argue and argue? You can't talk about things civil, you know, and say, hey, you know, or say, I don't understand it this way, but hey, everybody has their truth. I have my truth. You have your truth. Everybody else has their truth. My truth is truth from a parent. My children's truth is truth from a child with a parent that was imperfect, imperfect. And that's as far as I'm going with that. This is pretty long. People probably, phew, goodbye, give me a thumbs down. Goodbye, give me a thumbs down. If you do, you do. At least you gave me a thumbs down, right? Y'all have a great one. Peace be to you, everybody.